Hello, all the dentists out there. Here in this video, we are going to talk about the father of dentistry, Pire Forchard. But before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it and do like, comment and share. So let's begin with this video then. All the dentists might have an idea of who Pire Forchard was. If not, you will be knowing him till the end of this video so keep watching. He was one who revolutionized the world of medicine in 1728 when his book, the evocative title, The Surgical Dentist, was published. This great clinician and scrupulous scientist reported his studies of the dental fields of prevention, anatomy, surgery, dentovascular orthopedics, and oral disease which was not at all or only superficially examined until then. Looking at the origins of this great personality, the Fauchard family of the eastern part of the Brittany France which was then known as Upper Brittany was trained under a ship's surgeon in the French Navy, Alexandre. Fauchard rapidly developed a successful practice treating from the area around cities of Anger and others. So now let's see what his revolutionary book, The Surgical Dentist, contained. This book was divided into two volumes, in which the first volume has 38 chapters and the second volume has 26. Both these volumes contain 42 plates depicting surgical instruments. If you want to know about plates, I have given a link regarding it in the description part. In the first volume, his work deals with the anatomy of the teeth, oral hygiene, maladies of the teeth and the gingiva, and the ergonomic for the delivery of dental care. Volume 2 deals with clinical observations he had made in his 20 years of practice. He engraved many of his inventions of instruments made for oral surgery. Some of them like obturator and the now famous dentist drill. Earlier when he invented this drill, it was manual functioning powered by cat cut twisted around a cylinder. You will now be fascinated by knowing that the very popular household treatment of tooth pain with cloves and cinnamon was also suggested by him. A very horrible thing which he recommended was the use of human urine in the treatment of early stage caries. Ammonia which was not then identified was responsible to show the beneficial result of urine. The final days. In his book and all his life, he denounced the quackery and fraud of dental charlatan and their exploitation of patients. Carlatans are the people practicing quackery. He also warned his medical researchers that carlatans are using nitric acid and sulfuric acid on teeth to remove tartar in his hazardous and explain the method to identify false filling done by them. Prochard and his legacy At the beginning of the century of enlightenment, a man invented with impressive lucidity a branch of medicine and labeled it with a new name, dental surgery or dentistry. To this new science, he devoted his whole life and his practice and intuitive intelligence. His academic sense accomplished the rest through his two-volume treatise that he improved and amplified three times. So that's all lovely folks. Do like, comment and share if you found this video helpful. Thank you.